Alright, welcome back to more brother Brothership. Featuring Mario and Luigi. The most greatest brothers of all time. So, we're going to uh, the obligatory ice and fire level. Mario games tend to love those. Although, honestly, I don't really mind too much. Yeah, you know, I haven't played a Mario and Luigi or a Mario Ice and Fire level in a little while, anyways. Because they do have one in Paper Jam, or not Paper Jam, a uh, Dream Team. And, uh, I mean, it's alright. Dang, Luigi, you burn your ass! See, Luigi's thinking of all the creative ways to stop his ass from burning. This is where we learn the, um, the fire and ice abilities, I'm pretty sure. Because I saw those in the trailers. Although, I don't really know what else to say about that. I just got done playing some trash with Jose and Zeppi. And, um, let's just say it was certainly, um... It was certainly a interesting experience, because, uh, I think honestly, honestly, I think I know how my friends feel now when they deal with the lag on Parsec. Because, <laughs> uh, there was some certified McDonald's Wi-Fi shenanigans going on there. Our hot potato stew is the best. Our potato gelato is the best. You're obsessed with cold stuff. You're obsessed with the hot stuff. I refuse to lose this fight. Oh, what have we here? Great timing. Perhaps you can sell something. Alright, come this way. We found some consultants. <laughs> so the day has finally come. We'll sell it once and for all. We hit to control. Connect the island. That's not important. Boiling village. Freezing village. Which one's best? You must choose. But the light. Never mind all that. Great, wonderful. Wow. Well, we can't force our way past them, tempting as that might be. Guess we visit their little villages and get this annoying but hopefully food related task done. Okay. Freezing Village is famous for its potato gelato. Well, the village is known for hot potato stew. Try each village's dish. Potato gelato doesn't sound that appetizing compared to stew, though. Huh? You want to go to the lighthouse? You can't. Not right now, at least. There's a big fight near the plaza's exit. No one's getting through until it's over. They're fighting over which village is the tastiest dish, though. Both are tasty. See, based, based, uh, island there, right there. Is there gonna be, like, one with, uh... Are one of these gonna have, like, a, a equipment shop? No, I think it's just an item shop. Hmm, okay. Well, let's go over. Let's go try the stew first, I guess. Oh, hey, thanks for coming. I haven't seen your face before, have I? That hat. It's like a roaring fire. It's the epitome of hotness. Yeah, like PK Sparkstat hotness. You're cute and pink, too. The epitome of hotness. Really? Wow, that's, uh. I mean, I don't often meet excellent judges of character. I have nothing to add. <laughs> uh, typical, typical Mario and Luigi. Luigi is immediately getting shafted for no reason. <laughs> now you must have heard. You must be the visitors I heard about. Come right in. We'll give you a warm welcome. I'm sure you want our famous hot potato stew. Head to the hill to the east. All right, we'll do. 
I mean, when the, oh my god, look at Luigi, he's inspecting that guy. <laughs> Luigi, what the fuck are you doing? Luigi, behave yourself. <laughs> okay. On, on Heat Freeze Island, you can find a lot of what, we're, what are called the Heat Freeze Potatoes, but... Did I hear you say Heat Freeze Potatoes? I can say a lot about Heat Freeze Potatoes. There's no better use for them to boil them into a delicious hot potato stew. Top with some gooey melty cheese and you got the best dish in the world. Well, hold up. If you're talking stew, you need to mention fluffy bread baked in magma. You gotta dip that fluffy bread into the piping hot stew. It'll melt your tongue and your heart. Hot potato stew's the best. I mean, I do like me some stew. Oh, I got like some vegetables. Boiling village is boiling village's most famous dish is definitely hot potato stew. You take gently boiling stew and gulp it down while as hot as you can stand it. That's how we eat it here. I mean, that's how I like my stew too. Ever wonder what it'd be like to simmer in a pot? Hop in, see what's what. It's fine with me. Oh. oh. Well, are you sweating like you're steaming in a sauna? I always say, be the stew in heart, mind, and body. Let the sweat flow. Be the stew. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little silly uh, interaction there. Oh yeah. I don't like it when people get near me. Don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Now I got more evil peeps. Ooh, spooky. Hey, look at that, 16k, we did it, guys. Yaji the Princess Bernadette's affection is Chilium? Kind of a wimpy name, in my opinion. I bet I would be a good prince. Sorry about all the pausing. <laughs> I'm just kind of texting my girlfriend right now, so I am taking breaks here and there. If you need something, don't hesitate to ask. Alright, do you have anything good? Still got the Forge Boots. Elite Hammer. I guess that could be an upgrade for Mario. Uh, nah. I mean, that does give Stash, though. That's not bad. But no, my money. I'm gonna lose my money if I do that. I'm trying to save up. Also, I have two of these. Hmm. Okay, let's be honest. Am I actually gonna use the Forge Boots, though? No, nope, probably not. I'm probably not gonna use these either. Um, nah, I don't need the HP gloves. These are worth keeping because they only sell for one, anyways. Yeah, I think that's good. These are these are one-time items, though. I think so. I'm keeping them just for the novelty. Sell the mushroom. Uh, sell the syrup. Yeah, we got ultra syrups now. That's pretty good. Uh, some candy. Dude, I'm gonna get that 25k. Once I do, then I can. Then I won't have to worry about it. I mean, well, I will have to grind for a second pair probably. <laughs> you can't get too close to lava unless you want to become a permanent part of the island. Still, it's a beautiful sight to see. I bet I could gaze into its fiery, glow, flowing glow forever. Well, at least it looks unique, this place. It's got like a uh, very, f it's got a nice food theme to it. Ugh, I feel so gloomy. Folks on this island keep trying to get to know me. If I lived on a tiny island surrounded by lava, everyone would leave me be. Don't talk to me. I don't need friends. I don't want to care about people. It's very liberating, not needing anyone. And there's a bridge over there. You've seen them around, haven't you? The folks who seem focused on isolation? What's happening to all of them? And how is it happening? I don't have medicine for this. Ha! Ah. I haven't been checking yet. I haven't been checking if there's any uh, of this stuff. Oh yeah! 
So it doesn't tell you. Wait, actually, wait. Yeah, never mind. It does tell you where they're at. There's like three of them on that island over there that I can't get right now. We'll get over there eventually. So what is our like goal for this area? All the villagers used to hold festivals on Heat Freeze Island a long time ago. We of the Scorching people had one that we called Firefest. The fires twinkling in the dark is really made for a beautiful atmosphere. Yeah, now you guys frickin' bicker like grade schoolers. Hot potato stew is what we do here. And that's why you're here, yeah? Well, I say eat up. I see a hidden block over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they animated the bros eating the stew. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what do you think? Pretty tasty, right? Ooh, spicy, but real good. Yeah, the bros love it. Right, right. Score one for Bolin Village. Next up's freezing village is potato gelato. Spicy food can tempered by sweet cold ice cream. That's the best. Yeah, I wanna I wanna How do I go over there? Oh wait, I think I just go around here. Ooh, 100 coins. Can I go in here? I know, it's pretty inconsistent with which places you can go in and out of. Hey, the bridge is burning hot. You'll get a nasty burn if you step on it, so be careful. We should we could walk on it too if we could cool it down. If only I had some kind of ice related power. Um Whoops. I don't think we can get over there right now. Even with the tornado. No. Okay. That'll have to wait till we get the ice ability. Okay, so that's something we'll come back to later. Wait, wait, oh man, I can't get those. Alright, well, whatever. We'll get them when I come back to my second trip of this island. There are statues of the island's guardian spirits enshrined deep in a cave. If you go see them, be careful, and be sure to treat them respectfully. Having a, having a freaking lisp there or something. <laughs> You travelers! Hey pal, hurry up and let us in! Easy now, I don't care much for your heated tone. You can flap on out of here. You want us to leave? This is how you treat newcomers? I'm taking notes, you know. We're just here to try your famous food so we can take care of business at the lighthouse. Oh, my apologies. On closer inspection, you don't seem to be belong to the Scorching people. You're so passionate and fiery, I got the wrong idea. Allow me to collect myself. Welcome to Freezing Village. I'm the guard who, uh, frees you to go in. Haha. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Let's head in, you two. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cold. Ha, <laughs> you're a part of the ice cream averse now. Welcome to the family. I don't know why everybody, I give everybody an accent. It's just fun. If anybody's nearby, listen. Don't look at me. Don't come near me. Don't talk to me. I don't think anyone's nearby, but I repeat. Don't look at me. Don't come near me. Don't talk to me. I'm serious about this. Freezing village, or, freezing village is surrounded by ice, so the temperature is very low. The cold, brisk air is invigorating though, right? Try not to catch a cold. I don't know, do you guys catch colds here? You guys are probably used to it. I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of hypocritical. I like it when it's cold, but I also hate traveling in the snow. <laughs> so, I don't know. Want to crash here on the rails? Well, it's designed for rolling balls. You'll just fall through if you try to walk across here normally. Okay, so this is where you get the introduction normally that you can use the ball to cross. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Have you tried potato gelato yet? It's so fantastically delicious. We have taste buds, not talk buds, so I'd rather eat some than chat. <laughs> talk buds. What the fuck? 
fuck is all the what the fuck's all these grates doing here? I want to be alone. I just want to be alone. Please, I'm begging you. Just leave me alone. I'm just kind of exploring. After some chilly swimming, I need some freezy ice cream. It's been a while since I had customers. I want to stay in here forever. Can't get enough of this nice icy water. Hmm. I mean, I could handle a hot tub, but I don't know about a freeze tub. If that's what you even call it. Prince Gilliam's stylish as an icicle. His smile's so charming. But Bernadette, she's just not as cool. Maybe he'd like my style? <laughs> I mean... How, how different are all the plug people? Or, I guess Concordians, whatever you want to call them. Oh, yeah. oh. Alright, we got some more... We got some more the plugs we can make oh, soon. Yeah. You get like nine of these each time. Dude, I have just enough for 50. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll make the uh, attack boost. That's a pretty good one. Alright, so what do we want to have? Sure, attack boost. Yeah. Oh. Go away. I'm curious to see what combinations people are going to come up with in this game. Hey, I got another shortcut. Wait a second. Oh, I was about to say, it's like, there's only, there's only one, you only have one pipe at a time? That will be really lame if that was the case. Reason where this one gives you speed instead of stash. For Luigi, that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> then I can have Luigi move first. You know what? Let's do it. We want Luigi to move first in battles. There we go. Oh, you know what? This might be why I was taking so little damage in that one battle. Remember when that cap that was doing like three damage? We make potato gelato here. It's ice cream so good I scream about it to everyone who comes by. <laughs> so it's just ice cream then. It's not actually like made with potatoes. Is it? Have some potato ice cream. Cold and tasty. Just don't be a spectator. Hehe. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know if potato ice cream would taste good though. <laughs> Bro's gonna get a brain freeze. <laughs> oh shit! That was a potato ice cream. Yum, yam tastic, eh? Heh <laughs> uh, Brain freezingly cold, but sweet and tasty. Right, right. Boiling Village can never beat our mind numbing sweet treat. Let's head back to the plaza and hand over professional opinions. Yes, my opinion is the only correct one. <laughs> Can I, uh, can I get back there? Okay, yeah, I guess not. Get a fun little, uh, get a fun little, you know, sneak peek at this area. Are they? Oh yeah, I didn't talk to this guy, I don't think. Huh? You wanna go to Lighthouse? Oh yeah, no, I did read that, never mind. Yeah! Yeah, so we had dishes from both villages. Let's hear it then, what's the ruling? Uh, yeah, well, first off, boiling villages dish? 
So the hot tater stew was so hot it made you feel like you could almost breathe fire. It was ridiculously spicy, but also incredibly delicious, you say? Okay, okay. And it's a freezing villages dish. The potato gelato was so cold you thought your entire body might freeze. It was frozen solid, but also unbelievably delicious, you say? Huh. So in the end, I went villages hot potato stew, freezing villages potato gelato, which was more delicious. <laughs> Mario and Luigi are, are Italian gibberish. <laughs> Taken together, they taste amazing. You say? We never thought of that. See, there's a combined yumminess factor. Both are good, but they're better together. No! Oh. When you say they're delicious together, it only drives me out to outdo my foes. We need to create a culinary masterpiece that'll outshine and overpower their dish. Back to the kitchens! I guess they'll never agree with each other. <laughs> oh, well, at least the lighthouse path is open now. Let's head on up. Oh yeah! Luigi, we gotta get over there! Alright. Dang, burp season is back again. Alright, this has to be where we learn, like, the fire and ice abilities, right? It wouldn't make sense if we didn't. Oh, great, the Mr. Rossetti music is back. <laughs> My red hot intensity will lead me to the best potatoes. You don't stand a chance. Frenzy digging? That's not how you find out quality potatoes. You need a calm, cool head. Look at the two pals hunting taters together. We're not pals. And yet you're perfectly in sync. Well, I mean... Maybe it's just a good, friendly rivalry. Or not. Or they're gonna get fucked up. Friendly rivalry with you? Disgusting. Ugh, a special connection like that, just think about it, it makes my blood run cold. That strange light, could it be? Yeah, just gotta keep up this up and... Hey, it's them! It's the Bothersome Brothers. Uh, it's the Bothersome Brothers. What do we do? I heard they're pretty tough. What are you talking about? We're gonna take them out. Alright, new enemies. Well, one... Actually, well, these guys are new. These ring... Ringzok troopers. Here, let's try out a normal attack. Oh yeah, right, I have an extra attack now. I need to get used to that. Boom. Yeet. Alright, let's try this again. It's like you do a solo attack. Oh my god, 368 damage. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh yeah. Man, Mario does so much more damage, though. Like, Mario's is actually disgusting. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. No pun intended, by the way. Like, that, that, uh, he does, like, a frickin' hammer. Ooh. Man, I suck at dodging that. Man, let's do it with Luigi now. Oh, I did it too early, but, yeah, that's the gist of it. Okay.
Give Linguini more power, please. Please. Bark, bark. Looks like they're the ones causing folks to act so weird. The effect seems to be spreading. We need to do something. And then they just walk away. Wow. Luigi, what the fuck is going on with those weirdos? Hey, look, there's a lighthouse up there. We're gonna get to that shit. Right, let's try to head to the lighthouse for now. I mean, unless we don't get the, uh, the ability right away. Yeah, more regular ass syrups in like the second half of the game. I don't know why they decided. I don't know why they're giving this to us. Ooh, new enemy. What's this guy? They're like weird ice friends. Ice Icey ad? I sad. I think that's how you say it. Mario. Oh. Hey, at least they're not immune to that. They're not immune to the, the ice attack. Whoa. Man, that's some good damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I sad. That's a great enemy. Well, what, what, is there, is there gonna be another one called, like, Flame Gree or something? I don't know, I can't think of any good puns. Oh, yeah. ah. Hey, yo, what's this, what's this guy's deal? Oh, that's an enemy? What the fuck? What the hell is this thing? Curl up. Oh, yeah. What a weird enemy. Ooh, surprise iron boost. <laughs> if you use attack boost and surprise iron ball, you'll increase the number of iron balls that fall. Oh, but I'm out. Wow, I, I, I kind of ate shit there. Man, Mario does so much damage, bro. Oh, yeah. That that jump man is really doing something. <laughs> it's basically like having a permanent twenty percent attack boost. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at all the turnips. Well, they're not turnips; they're carrots. Kakarot. <laughs> yeah. We got uh some nice ice tiles here. Ooh, delicious bangle. Is that the thing that, um... Is that the thing that gives you, like, more healing? Yeah. Not bad. It makes sense we get it on this island. I like the vibes of this place. It's pretty nice. I don't really know which way to go. I'm just gonna go over here. Well, which way is the correct way? I think this is the... This is a secret. Oh, yeah. We get more money. And, uh... We get some items. Luigi, you gotta hurry up! Mario, I'm so slow. I ate too many donuts back at the apartment. We don't have an apartment, Luigi. What are you talking about? Oh, oh yeah, I mean a ship shape island. I had a dream that I was in an apartment. It was pretty cool, Mario. <laughs> oh, hey, there he is. There's the new enemy. Magmad. <laughs> That's a great name. That's a fantastic enemy name. Alright, Dizzy. Um... Do these guys count as spiky enemies? 
I think they do. So let's ha let's keep hammering them. Ooh. Oh yeah, they do count as that. Dizzy Ice. Pair the dizzying attack and icy attack, and an icy tornado will appear, increasing the damage you deal. Oh, neato. Oh, he did that to himself. <laughs> Stuck? Can't go forward? That sounds like a skill issue to me. Meow. Yeah, so these guys both count as spiky enemies. Well, pow, damn. No, it's out of charge. Hang on, let's do the fiery one now. <laughs> if I do that, it'll just combine it again, will it, won't it? Yeah, fire tornado. Heat freeze or Dizzy burn. That's pretty badass. Oh, yeah. I don't know if there's any other cool combinations, but hey, I found a couple. Actually, I found three, so that's a pretty big deal. Mm. Oh yeah, so funny thing. Uh, Aaron Netmar uploaded a video, and I had Mario and Luigi in the thumbnail. I was like, oh shit, is he talking about Brothership? And then I read it, and it was like, oh, it, it's a Smash Bros. video. <laughs> And I got, I got, I got disappointed. Hey, don't you realize how dangerous it is to try and start a conversation so abruptly? There's a strong wind up ahead, it's constantly blowing wild. It can easily blast away even someone big like me. If you're gonna continue, be careful. Hmm. Boing. Do I have to be ball? Oh, I see how this works. I thought this was where we were gonna learn, um, <laughs> the faster ball move, but I guess not. Oh, yeah! Um, well, hang on, what do we have, what do we have over to the left? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, don't do that. I don't think I can... I don't think I can win against this wind. We ain't, we ain't winning against this one. Oh! Fly! No! <laughs> okay, we're not getting that, I guess. I am barely able to get up here, though. Alright, so from what it looks like, um, there's a couple more. Actually, I don't even know if we can get these sprite bulbs right now. But we are coming up on a save soon, so that's good. Oh, look at that, the shortcut! I love these little, like, sta metal staircases that we keep making. Alright, time to anger the armadillo again. I think that's what it is supposed to be. It looks like an armadillo to me. Ooh. Boom. Love that tornado. Oh, shit. Dang it, Luigi got messed up. Wait, where did Linguini go, bro? He gone. Dude, that guy can, like, make one of the bros piss off. <laughs> That's wild, okay. Yeah, definitely heal after that. I haven't even been using my BP. It's, it's fun to just experiment with the normal ass attacks. And see what kind of combos I can come up with. Um... We got a secret over here. I think there's a secret anyway. 
more sprite bulbs. Oh yeah! Oh my god, where the hell is it going? Bro, come back. Worth it. Where it was very worth it for that. Okay, um, coin plier then. That's always that. That might be a good one to just have on at all times. One or more. Ooh. Wait, kaboom attack again? Wait, what? Why? Why is there a second one? Not dropping. When you have at least two HP, and you take enough damage to become KO'd, preserves you at one HP. Oh shit, it's like Endor from Persona. Back at you, attack. When you take damage, it sometimes triggers an extra jump or hammer, hammer attack back at the attacker. So kind of like a, like a counter. Oh, I see. Speedy recharge. When another pl equipped plug reaches zero charges, its recharge time is shortened by 50% turns. I might have to make that one, honestly. <laughs> so how many more um, plugs are there in the game? There's, there's, there's still a lot to go. I mean, actually, there's only eight more. Some of these seem pretty not nice to have. I mean, these two are just repeats. I don't know why you'd go for those. I guess if you're trying to 100% it, but yeah. Weird. It is really weird that they repeat repeated these. Because look, um, we already have our own surprise iron ball. Speedy recharge is probably the one I'm gonna go for next. Oh yeah. Oh. Seems like a pretty worthwhile one to me. Is there, is there a grandpa on this island? Oh shit, I buttoned my ass! Sometimes it doesn't let you, um... It doesn't let you switch to the thing you want to use. Man, there's a lot of vegetables. Great vegetables. Alright, so we got an island. We got, an, we got the island cave right here. Man, there's a lot of pipes on this island, too. Okay, Luigi. Hurry the fuck up. We gotta go into this stupid cave. Okay, Mario. Reach the lighthouse. Ooh, we got, we got some tunes. We got some tunes in this cave. I fulfill my duty. Oh, Mario, am I like hearing shit? Eh, what? I fulfill my duty. Did that statue just talk? When the two large spheres roll and fall. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a lot of ice. Dang. This has to be something important, right? <laughs> be guided to the light. No one's been here by here for hundreds of years. I'm so bored. It's a good time for a word game. A word game? Statues. S. S. C. A. A. All of us playing by the sea. All of us rushing into the sea. A. A. Anguish. What the hell is going on here, bro? I, I, I don't know. It's been a while since I've had visitors. The only excitement I ever get is saying, It's been a while since I've had visitors. That and the sphere thing. Anyway, I bet my friend over yonder is as bored as I am. 
Is that a hint? We'll need we'll need up ahead. <laughs> when the two large spheres roll and fall, be guided to the light. Let's just get going. The old Didi is real confusing. Man, those enemies are so freaking fast. If there's one thing that's fast in those in this game, it's the freaking overworld enemies. Like, god damn. I could use my bros attacks, but I'm kind of on a roll here with my uh, single target moves here. Like, it literally just shreds through them. Like, check this shit out. Boom. Actually dead. Actually erased from existence. Bro is so erased that he, he's never coming back. Uh, until I reload the area, that is. I love these little armadillo fellas. They're cute. I mean, who, who doesn't want an armadillo? Oh, yeah. Bro, I fucking did it again. I did the thing where I think I'm gonna, you know... Alright. Oh, fuck. I messed up again. These enemies, these enemies are getting tougher, I will say. Alright, Link, we, you can come back. Hey, at least Luigi gets the experience still. 24! We still got quite a ways to go before Leaf Rank, but that's okay. Mario's about to breach triple digits in POW soon. Oof, that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I honestly can't think of how else you can combine battle plugs together. I'm like struggling over here. If anybody knows any other battle plug combinations, um, I don't know, I'd like to know. Even though, by the time this comes out, I'll, I'll, I might even beat the game, I don't know. <laughs> but, I am curious, I'll be curious to find out which ones I missed out on. Okay, now we can use the Zapparator. Yep, they're, they're smoked. <laughs> Heat freeze ore. Look at that experience, though. Like, 600 for Luigi. Okay, so... I, I doesn't look like I can do much with these balls. Also, what's that like? That guy looks a little more dangerous than the usual ones. What's the deal with that? Oh, wait. Why? Oh shit, Mario, I think we're fucking at the volcano. Oh. What? We melted the entire place. <laughs> no, I can't get that block now, though. Shit. And I murdered all those armadillos. Well, rip, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully I can fix that up later. Is that what this sign says? No, it just says lighthouse I had. That doesn't do shit for me. Bro, did they not have- they did not have a freaking limiter on those ice balls. It's so loud. I find that kind of funny, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, we keep flooding the volcano with lava! Wait, oh, oh wait, hang on. Hang on a second. Now we can go over here. Wow, why am I getting a normal-ass mushroom this late in the game? Okay, that's a little better. Super syrup jar. Dude, I, the, I, the items in this game are so confusing. Like, why do you get such shitty items late into the game? I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Also, I love how comically large the rocks are in this game. 
I also find that pretty funny. And yet Mario just- Mario and Luigi just break them, like, so easily, dude. Okay, we ain't getting up there, I can tell you that. Well, I mean, we might be able to. We gotta become ball- I mean, I, I don't know if ball form actually helps or not. I like going in ball form, though. Ball form just feels nice, you know? Don't take that out of context. Ball, ball form. Kinda, it kind of looks like a Pokeball, actually. Alright. That's one. That's two. Mar you better you better run, guys. Oh shit, we gotta get away! Luigi, get away from it! <laughs> Oh, and then it becomes a normal last rock. And then it just melts all the lava. <laughs> Man, the bros are really expressive in this game. That is one that is still one thing that I'm I'm gonna compliment until the end of time. At least the bros have soul. Alright, so what do we have over here? Is there anything I missed out on? I don't know. I don't think I missed out on anything here. I think this is it. Alright, so we got another rock. I think actually... I don't think I can do anything, I don't think I can do anything with that rock. Whoa, I haven't seen people in centuries. I've been so bored sitting here by myself. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here, Mr. Rock? What? You made it this far because you got a hint? The other statue back there, I guess he fulfilled his duty. So, uh, if you have the time, you wanna hang out with me? I don't know, Mr. Rock. I see. You've got to hurry on ahead. Well, come see me anytime. I'll be here. I assume we probably wanna come back to the rock later. Unless, unless that's just for, you know, that's just for gags. Oh, would you look at that? We're already at the top of the mountain. The lighthouse is getting closer. But it's still so hot. Let's try not to get burned on bacon on the way there. I'm gonna snout let him his pig puns. And I see some, uh, I see some things I can grab here. Boing. The problem is they, uh, they kind of just go wherever the hell they want. It's kind of annoying. What the hell are they doing all the way up there? How the hell am I going to get these sprite bulbs? I don't know, I'm gonna go over here first, though. I wanna get whatever these items are. Gotta become Illuminati Mario Brothers. Can't, can't go over there. Oh, yeah, I see where I'm supposed to go. You gotta spin. You gotta spin over there. Oh yeah! Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. I got ten more of them. I, I don't have quite enough to get the crap the next thing, but that's all right. I think we have every illuminate except for the ones in that little corner down there that I can't reach. So we'll worry about that when that comes, you know. Anyways, I uh can't quite break that yet. So, I guess we made it to the end of the lighthouse. Yeah! God damn it. I love it. I love it when shit just plays out on my TV. Actually, this time it was set to my TV, so that was my bad. Oh, 
shit. I can feel my headphones dying out on me. <laughs> I might need to buy a new pair just in case. My headphones are doing that thing where, um... They only play out of one end. Everybody knows about that, though. I think I might as well go buy a new pair when I'm on my shopping spree tomorrow. Because it's always uncomfortable when the sound, like, just cuts out on one end. <laughs> Alright, Heat Freeze Island has been connected. Awesome. We're gonna, we're gonna connect all of those islands back together. I mean, honestly, I don't know where else we could go from here. So I guess we'll figure that out then. Yeesh, the folks back there did not want to get along. Maybe they'll change their tune now that the island's linked. Oh yeah, we ought to let Bernadette and Chilliam know the island's linked up now. Yep, those two would know better than most how to fix this mess. Mario, Luigi! Princess, just the gal we wanted to see. Over here, quickly! This is urgent! What the fuck are you guys doing here? Who are you people? Chilium! Glomray! Fire! Ugh. Chilikins! Are you hurt? Ugh. Fuck off already. Quit smothering me. It's unbearable being around you. If I never see you again, that'd be great. No, you. Now you see Master Zarkus' true might the power of Gloam. Gloam? <laughs> That's right. The results of concentrated spite bulb power. Once it hits you, it's all over. It makes you resent everyone, no matter how you felt before. So all those gripes we've been seeing. I've had enough. Put those folks back to normal. Buzz off, snouty eyes. <laughs> You're strong, but there's nothing you can do anymore. Demo's over. We're out. See you later, suckers. Well, that can't be good. Oh, sweet Chilium. Oh. Oh, shit. Princess Bernadette's resting. She was too shocked at how cold Chilium was to her. The glow must have gotten to him. Is there any way to fix the guy? Mm. Yeah, it would have been nice to figure that out sooner. Oh, I think there is. There's an old man who says he knows everything in a place called Scorching. They say his name is Dr. Volko. If he knows anything, everyone know or if yeah, I can't talk. If he knows everything, he must know this. Scorching. It's probably Scorching Island these days. Ark might know where to find it, so let's go ask him. Are there any side quests? Nope. No side quests at all. Well, might as well just get to the point then. I wish I had a clue where Scorching Island's hiding. Mario, Luigi! The princess and idol is back. We finally have a lead for you. Yeah, we figured out where the extension core went. We followed the snapters flying across the sea. Moog, Dulas, Elo, come in.
This is Luke. Am I coming through? I'm freezing. Can everyone there see we're on an ice and snow covered island? A scepter. That's a sign of the extension core. You know it. Should we follow it? I wouldn't push it. These are dangerous people. Roger that. Idle out. That's it for our report. Back to you, Ship Shape Island. Ice and snow, huh? Could that be Slip and Glide Island? There's a lot of there's a lot of different islands here. We should seize this chance to gather more data about Gloom. Maybe Doc Volko and Scorching Island can fix the Gloom problem. Or we could get some Gloom info out of the Extension Core and Slip and Glide Island. Do we want to go to Scorching Island after a cure for Gloom? Or head to Slip and Glide Island for to pursue the Extension Core? I'll leave the decision to you, Mario and Luigi. Oh, we get like another, uh, we get another like pick a path situation here. That's nice. Oh my God, my frickin' cables are being so annoying, dude. Why? Why? Why do you have to break now all of a sudden? Well, I'm definitely buying a new pair of headphones tomorrow. Then, Jesus. But please be careful. We don't know what our enemy's up to. Crescendo! I like a croissants! Oh, you feel like Irene and I are doing all the work? Yeah! <laughs> well, we try. I do get anxious, I admit. I won't pretend I don't have my fears. But Starlo's with me. Not to mention Irene. Girl Swad. And the idol kids try even harder than I do. They make a good team. Maybe as good as you two, Mario and Luigi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we get to we get to pick which island we want to go to. That's pretty neat. Mm, yeah, <laughs> I don't know how much longer I feel like going with my headphones acting up like this though. Kind of annoying. Separate currents have been reconnected. The trees are responding well to our hard work too. Mario, Luigi. I have a couple of prototypes for you. <gasps> More rose attacks? I make no guarantees and hold no, li no liability. Yo! We got the bomb derby and the jump helmet. Okay, so these are these are the um, some more returning bros moves. Oh my god, they look they look awesome, dude. Wait, so hang on, Luigi gets the jump helmet? I guess that is how it was in Bowser's Nice Story, right? A device can't do all the work; it takes skill to use. Used the right way, they'll work wonders, I assume. Kind of like Mario Wonder. I uh, I'll be I'll be doing all I can on your behalf. Yes. Whatever Zocket's scheming, we have to put a stop to it. We owe it all to the pe wonderful people we've met here. Yeah, you know what I also owe? These shitty headphones. I don't remember when I bought these headphones. You know, I, I wonder if I wrote that down or not. Apparently I bought these headphones back in April? Is what I'm reading here. Yeah. So I've had these headphones for a good, uh... A good six months, I want to say. Yeah. But hey, I mean, it's what you can expect from dollar store headphones. I don't pay I don't pay good money for headphones. I'm a cheap bastard. I get my headphones for like five bucks. <laughs> and they last me like half a year. And then with that, we'll leave Ship Shape Island again to continue exploring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Oof. It's sounding really bad on my end, bro. <laughs> oh, well, there's new, there's new side quests. Nice. Like, I gotta tell you what. I'm gonna switch to my, uh, my other headphones. And, uh, I'll be right back. Oh my god. It feels so weird not having my, um... My headphones in. <laughs> so I have, I have this, uh, really weird one 
earbud set of beats. And I use that whenever I go out because I don't want to have both my earbuds in. So I just have one earbud. And it is... It, it's good for going out, but it's not good for recording. I only use it when my headphones break. And I guess this is one of those moments. So, I'll go like a little bit longer. We have Monster Mania Level 2, Guardian Spirit. I honestly think I'll save the side quest for later. I'm just gonna go to the next island, I think. So, let's go do that. Where'd my juice go? There it is. So I guess I have all the more reason to go to uh, the store. Okay, well there's Scorchin Island. That's where the cure is, I'm pretty sure. So what else is there? There's a drifting island up there. Well, that's Slip and Glide Island. Okay, interesting. Wait, I see a reef up there. I want that. Okay, what's this? What's this reef all about? Oh my god, it's the fucking shower fish! <laughs> I can't escape the shower fish. It's too majestic. Okay, I'm gonna go to Scorching Island first, probably. There's another reef down here, actually, so we might as well go do that. And then that'll be all the reefs in this sector. Gotta take a very weird path to get there, though. Maybe one of these days I will, um... Clear out all of these uncleared pathways that I have, like... Like that little intersection there and whatnot. Okay, got another reef. Oh my god, it's a shroob! Mushroob reef. Yo, Shrew Breath friends, let's go. Do love me some Pirates in Time representation. That's sick. I That might have been in the trailers. I don't remember, though. That's pretty freaking sick, though, I gotta say. Okay. We're coming up. We're coming up on the island. Let's go to Scorchin Island, then. And we'll do a little bit of it. Okay, I don't know if we'll do all of it. We'll, we'll see, though. I mean, I am in a good mood, so... <laughs> I am enjoying the brothership, after all. Look at that. I love over the course of the game, Luigi just doesn't eat shit anymore. <laughs> Oh, hey, since when do we get visitors? Those burly mustaches, they're scorching and hot. But how'd you get all here? How'd you get here with the lands all busted up? You were shy in here by a cannon? That's blazing hot news. This here is Scorching Island, home of the scorching people whose hearts are aflame. Who welcome, friends? Dr. Volko? He's gotta be somewhere on the volcano, but where do you live again? I reckon the chief will know. Oh, yeah. yeah! Unfortunately, I only have one headphone. I can't hear the music too good. Well, maybe I'll come back here when I get my new headphones. I'm that passionate about brothership, man. <laughs> 50s. Oh, this is going you know, a flat 20. There are more plugs. I wanted to save up for the, um... I'm trying to save up for the, what's it called? The faster recharge. Yeah. 
That requires 60 of them, though. So, yeah. I think you there is enough Lumine to make all of them. But, yeah. Uh, out of the ones that I want, probably, you know, the back at you, the not dropping, and the speedy recharge. So, yeah. That pile behind me is rare stuff I hold I have myself. Wanna take a look? Yeah, you got what you got. Uh crowd control boots. The more enemies there are, the more damage you deal. And then there's singular boots. I mean like I could get Luigi better boots. Hmm. Not not bad, not bad. Not a bad idea. There's the singular hammer. Oof, I probably should upgrade my shit at some point. Repel wear. You know, I'm gonna challenge myself, because the game's not challenging enough, really. And plus, I'm still saving up. I'm still saving up for that, um... That what you call it. I'm gonna sell this, by the way. I don't need this. Um, I think at this point in the game, we probably don't need the encounter belt either. Yeah. I don't need a random ass mushroom or two super shrooms. I'm just gonna sell all this crap. I'm gonna try and stock up on money, you know. We need to get that 25k at some point. Ooh, she looking for Doc Volko? He's on the volcano, somewhere. Where was it again? Princess Bernadette's papa should know. He's the chief of this island, you know? Whoosh. I'm pretty sure he's somewhere in the village doing his usual rounds. Whoosh, whoosh. Scorching, would you like some hot potato stew? Oops, looks like you're full. I guess that's a, that's a full heal. Dr. Volko, of course I know him. He researches the power of connector and is investigating the ecology of sprite bulbs. The doctor can teach you just about anything. Whether you want to make a spicy stew sweet or mend a broken heart, he's your guy. This hot potato stew gets topped off each and every day, you know? So this big pot has never been emptied since way back when. It's totally different than the stew they make in that tiny pot in Boylan Village. Our pep talks used to get my husband so fired up every day. But now he just stares at that pot and doesn't hear a word I say. I was really curious about that shining gap. I took a peek inside and guess what I found? I saw a sparkling come from inside. It looked like a bunch of shiny coins. If I had something like a vacuum cleaner, I could suction out the coins and stash them away. Suction? Well, we don't have a suction ability. Luigi, is Luigi gonna get his vacuum cleaner ready? Simmer, simmer, bubble away. Boil, boil, my stew of solitude. Princess Bernadette, the chief's only daughter, is so bright and kind. Everyone loves her. Who would ever think she'd run off with the prince from Slip and Glide? But you know what? I just want her to be happy. This place sounds very, uh, bombastic. Oof, so, just, whatever. Emo people. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, almost there. <laughs> Though they all use the same ingredients, each ho each household is able to bring out their own flavors. You know, my own stew is nothing to sneeze at. You yeah, don't sneeze in the stew, though. That'd be bad. Hmm. This place isn't actually all that big. Damn. This freaking burp season, man, I can tell you what. Everybody else gonna leave for all I care, just go away. Actually, not that many bulbs on this island. Bernadette's the brilliant, charismatic, kind-hearted princess of the Scorching people. Just about everyone knows she and Prince Chilliam are an item. Except the chief, that is. That of an apprentice of mine, I wonder if he's doing well in Boylan Village. 
Hello there, customers. Have you ever eaten Scorching Specialty Hot Tato Stew before? I'm serving it at my stall. You should definitely have a taste. Mm, which, okay, this is a, an optional area. Oh, yeah. I want the extra money, bro. More money is always good. That stew does look good, though. Oh, new faces on our fair island. Are we finally getting guests again? Nah. The chief? That'd be me. I sense some urgency about you. Come, let's chat. So tell me what's on your mind, and don't hold back. Hey, you see? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bernadette, so you've met our princess. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, what? She ran off. We're practically at war with the Slip and Glide folks, and she falls in love with their chief's son, and then runs away from home? That girl, she can't. Easy, Chief, you're getting steamed. Steamed hams. What passion. She's certainly a scorching princess. <laughs> See you not mad? Once a flame's lit in the scorching heart, it never stops burning. Well, we might have to draw the line at this slip and glide, kid. Oops. You have something else to say, no? Eh. Uh. So you need Dr. Volko to help you fight the Glom. Understood. I'll tell you his location, but you can't get there right now. Why not? It's better if you see for yourself. Head north of the village and then go east. Pass through the two arches, you'll understand soon enough. Hmm, will I though? My little Bernadette running off on some lovey-dovey adventure. Flame, she's definitely her father's daughter. I had to see you got the energy to go sightseeing in a place like this. You go to the right, you got Dr. Volko's house. Go left and you got the lighthouse. Well, is there any reason to go to the lighthouse? Hold it. That ain't the way she said to go. We gotta go find Dr. Volko. Guess we're not fighting that enemy then. I think I saw another Magman. Magman. Be careful with bomb buds. Bomb buds will ignite when pulled up after a set time they explode. The explosion's strong enough to clear rubble. Don't play with them or pull up carelessly. Bomb buds, those sound so familiar. Aren't they in another Mario and Luigi game? I'm a, I'm, I hope I'm not crazy. They're in Dream Team, aren't they? No, they're in Paper Jam! Whoa, what the fuck? They brought back a random ass item from Paper Jam? That's crazy. Of all things to bring back. They'll grow back after the previous Bomba explodes, so don't try to weed them all out. Yo, they brought this shit back. I knew I saw those somewhere before. So why can't we exactly get ahead? And more, uh, more lame-ass items. Oh, I see why we can't get up. You think we need to get to that cave? There's no way, huh? Yo, we're looking for Doc Volko. Oh yeah, he, he should be past that cave up yonder. But, you ain't getting up there now. That there's a bud. That there bud's a connector flower. Back before the world got shattered up, we used to hop on them to Doc's house. This is ridiculous. We must make them bloom somehow. <laughs> Speaking of Doc... Hey, are you Doc Volko? Eh, <laughs> what's all this racket? You are nothing but a boar. I'm a refined and gentlemanly physician. 
Refined and gentlemanly from physicians should do not converse, converse with boards. I ain't no boar. You're fine, Doctor Ship. Oh, well, what can I do for you? We had some trouble trying to think and. My, that does sound unfortunate. I must go and take a look right away. Although the flowers don't bloom, we got this. We'll find the lighthouse and connect the islands. Y'all headed to the lighthouse? It's on the top of Chili Pepper Mountain here. Well, wow, all the way up there, huh? There's lava everywhere, so watch your step. Path's pretty rugged, but I'm betting y'all do your best. Light a flame in your heart. Well, what does the map look like? Yeah, I mean, that doesn't look too bad. We got this. So I guess that's why we couldn't uh, go up before. We have these magmas again. <laughs> Are these magmas? Oh no, my defense! Oh no! Oh, these guys are wrecking me, dude! Tough lads. Gloam Magmad. Oh, I see. I can't even try the jump hell well on these guys because they're on fire, bro. Okay. Hang on, hang on. We can try out the bomb derby now. Luigi throws bombs with left stick and Mario hits them with A. Hit all the bombs. That is literally exactly how it works before. All right, let's see. Let's see how weird it is at the time. Oh my god, it works exactly the same! Ooh, that is really cool. That is a really cool way to spice it up. Alright, so we're adding that to the uh, list of challenges we gotta do now. Oh, Luigi took a bit of a beating there, though. Well, I guess that mushroom I got will come in handy after all. Alright, so challenges. We got two new challenges we can do. You know, get 30 excellence with the bomb derby, get 30 excellence with the jump helmet. Man, I really need to go refill my juice. I'll be right back to refill my juice then. Okay, so before I went to get a drink, I noticed we have the last two achievements that I was wondering about unlock. Defeat 300 of Bowser's minions. What do you mean, defeat 300 of Bowser's minions? Since when are there Bow- what is Bowser's minions here? And defeat 150 Gloam enemies. Interesting. So those randomly opened up. I'm not sure why the Bowser's Minions one opened up, though, because I haven't seen any Bowser Minions yet. And yeah, we will, um... We will do that at some point, those side quests. Unless they're telling me, like, Bowser's Minions is here somewhere. Which, um... I think it's kind of a bit of foreshadowing. But, like... Bowser's mini- ba I know Bowser is in this game, but he hasn't shown up yet, and it's been- I'm surprised. I think this is like the longest it takes for Bowser to show up in a Mario and Luigi game. The closest I can think of is with, uh, Partners in Time. Partners in Time? It takes Bowser, like, halfway through the game to show up. And this, I think, is a new record. <laughs> on how long it takes for Bowser to show up. Because he's in the trailers. And whatnot. What was that explosion? Was it one of us? 
Follow on Platoon Squad A, are you there? Ooh. Bob-ombs? What the fuck? Hey, where? How do we get off this island? Where's Lord Bowser? What happened to Squad A? Bowser? What? This is Concordia. You want to connect the islands? What does that even mean? Hey, it's no use talking to Mario. These guys are our enemies always. We found them, so we take them down. Guess you got a point. Let's do it. Oh shit, it's kinda cool seeing like regular ass bob bombs now. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we can try out the jump helmet now. Oh, but this is 3D jump helmet. So how is this gonna how is this gonna handle? Also, Luigi's the one bouncing off the jump helmet now. Oh, I kinda cocked that one up. That's weird. It's kinda weird that Luigi's the one going off the jump helmet now. But I guess to be fair, you know, they needed a unique bros attack. <laughs> they need a unique bros attack for Luigi, so... I guess that works, right? I love the dramatic slowdown. Oh, well, shit. <laughs> Bro, I'm eating shit right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, bro. I'm gonna die from these fucking bob bombs. I died, bro! Bro, I died to fucking regular ass bob -ombs. <laughs> I can't believe that. Well, wow. uh, second game over. Alright, we could try the jump helmet again. Aw, oh, man. I, I sadly did get spoiled on the jump helmet coming back. But I didn't know it was gonna be like this. So... It's kinda cool to see now. That is some insane damage, bro. Holy shit. Alright. The speed is, like, pretty on par with the Paper Jam and Dream Team one. It's just a little bit slower, but I don't mind too much. Oh, yeah! I just love the little rhythm that ha that happens. Well, there we go. Okay, I was just jumping too early. That's what was happening there. Beep. Yeah, I'm wasting BP on a frickin' uh, random ass ball bomb. What about it? I guess the jump helmet did kind of get a bit nerfed though in the transition to 3D, because now you don't. You only have to worry about the um, one axis. Well, actually, what I mean is you don't have to worry about. Moving Mario, specifically. You don't have to worry about moving Mario. All you have to worry about is moving left or right, and whether or not... Well, actually, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's a little easier, I don't know. It's hard to explain, really. So now we have all kinds of enemies. Now we have Sock Troopers, Bowser's Minions, and the Glow enemies. Kind of funny that they both show up at the exact oh, yeah. same point in the game. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I didn't take damage, so I got 800 experience. That's pretty damn good. Do you know those guys? I haven't seen them before. 
huh? They are called Bowser's Minions? Sounds ridiculous. Yeah, and it's also a game on the 3DS. Well, they're weird, ain't they? What exactly is a Bowser's Minion? King Bowser and Bowser's Minions? Yikes. They cause trouble and take over castles and whatnot. Wonderful. Sounds like some pretty wild stuff goes on down in the Mushroom Kingdom. Now we got a bunch of these whack doodles in our world. Great. So they'll probably come up with some devious plans for this world too, huh? Yeah, that whole crew's gonna be trouble. Let's go. I thought we were supposed to be working with Bowser, not against him. Alright, I guess I guess Bowser's minions are gonna be a problem from now on. Ooh, 50 coins. Man, we're getting the money. 20k now. Alright. Let's use up um actually wait, I got a better idea. Well I mean here here's the thing. Um, I want to put on the syrup thing. Put on the auto syrup. And, um, use some syrups right now so we don't have to waste the BP later. There. We got a super shroom. I guess we can use that to heal Luigi up. Actually, nah, he's fine. He's fine on HP. Well, that's a glow enemy, then. They're, like, a lot tougher than normal enemies, it seems. Oh, what the hell is that, dude? Haluka? <laughs> glow magma. Well, we might get to see that guy attack. I do like what they did. They, they, they made Bomb Derby and um, Jump Helmet just different enough, which is nice. Okay, well we can use um, Jump Helmet on this guy. Now the enemies are getting tougher, which is a good thing. Yeah. I mean, it's, 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 there's only so much they can do with the transition to 3D, you know? Wait, Luigi gets to move again? Boom. So I guess at some point we'll get all of those done. Because we still haven't even beaten the 999 enemies yet. <laughs> So, all of these four are probably going to get finished up around the exact same time. The money one, I'll have it eventually as well. And, uh, I'm surprised how long this one is taking to get. Hmm. What's the max amount of damage you can do then if, if the first one's a thousand? You'd think the first one would be like a simple number, like I don't know, 500 or 100 or something. Not a thousand. Hmm. But yeah. Seems like we have a good outline on what challenges we need to beat. I know, I know, I keep looking at the challenges and the side quests. But hey, I'm passionate about that stuff, you know? This is a 100% playthrough of Brothership, after all. Oh. Is this where we learn the ability? A dead end. Or is it? Is this where we learn the new ability? Looks like the path continues over there. Oh. Alright, Louise, you know what to do. Huh. Oh, big brain this oh. one, Luigi. 
I haven't seen Luigi okay. logic in a while. Oh. Hmm. You guys can't move this thing? Really? We can make this plate go whoosh? Okay, but the magma's scary. And this plate's a good size, but... Explain to me again. <laughs> Or maybe just show me. Alright. Tilt right stick and select the bro spin move. Okay. Transform to UFO. Hold X to vacuum. Oh shit. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, I, I, I did not get spoiled on that. That's sick. You learned the bro's vacuum. Or UFO vacuum. This bros move can only be used while you're using UFO spin. While using UFO spin, you can suck up various things. So that's what those grates are used for, then. Let's see. While using UFO spin, press X. This will cause a more powerful whirlwind that will suck up whatever is directly below you. You can suck up loose objects or coins in inaccessible places. Suck up an enemy to start a battle the first strike. Note that burrowing enemies can't be sucked up. So, and now what? Huh? You're gonna use the move to suck up this plate? Can you even do that? Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do that. Alright, I'll leave it to you. Okay, so it looks like... In addition to getting new bros moves, we're also gonna be getting, like, expansions to our old moves, which is kinda cool. Oh. Oh, well... Don't do that, obviously. Okay, I see how this is gonna work. Oh. You have to hold the X button down. Okay, I see. Well, here, this gives us a good chance to start do a first strike. That, I mean, that did something. <laughs> Here, should we let this guy attack? I mean, as long as I don't kill him. Oh, damn, he fucking countered me, bro. <laughs> Why is he supposed to do something there? I don't know. Yeah, look at all that oh, loony yeah. I'm getting. 53 coins. That's a weird, funny number. Okay, well, Mario needs to get healed now. There we go. That's cool. I wasn't expecting to learn an expansion on the UFO. That's a pleasant surprise, honestly. Oh, here we get to use the UFO on this thing. Oh. Man. Just get a shit ton of money for that. This is pretty neat. I, I like this ability already. And plus, now I know what that grate in, um, Twisty Island is used for now, finally. About damn time. Ooh, <laughs> I almost fucked that up. Hundred bucks! So what can I do with this? Oh, that is not how you first strike that guy. Alright, let's use the Bomber. Bomber is 10 BP, damn. Those, bro those bros moves aren't like slouching in price in this game. <laughs> I mean, no rush to get that achievement. Is that a new record on how much damage I've done to an enemy? 
Well, here's another, here's another one. Here's another big number. I guess we could go back to the... We can go back to Rumble Island, try out the jump helmet on a frickin' uh... What would you call it? Well, that actually doesn't do that much. Does it have to be a single tar- like a single hit attack, or can it be a multi-hit attack, I wonder? That's the thing I'm not sure about. Okay, well definitely more reason to use the jump helmet here. I mean, these guys are able to survive a frickin' uh... Jump helmet from Luigi, so... Yeah. Boom. Okay, that did 410. Yeah, and he lived that shit. Dang. Oh my god, Luigi's fucking dead, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> oh. Luigi's actually dead. Man. Those guys are tough to dodge. I'm gonna need to use another mushroom after this. This is what I get for not equipping any gear. <laughs> but hey, I wanted a challenge, so... I think it's worth it. <laughs> Gyro syrup is kicking in for some reason. Bro's still alive. Okay, that one I can deal with. Okay, we're already level 25. That's crazy. Alright, time for more Luigi dances. Let him dance. Let him do his little dance. I love Luigi's dance, bro. <laughs> Y'all are just gonna have to accept the fact that Luigi's gonna level up before Mario. <laughs> you li either like it or you hate it. And I'm on the I'm on the like it side of the spectrum. <laughs> All right, let's use that Ultra Shroom. I guess we gotta use a super syrup then. Also, I think I need a new plug. Yeah, one of my plugs ran out. Probably put on the icy attack. Um, yeah, put on performance bonus. I mean, I'm having fun with I'm having fun screwing around with the plug system, and it's only gonna get better as we get further into gate to the game. Cause when we beat the third lighthouse, we're gonna get um we're gonna get another extension. So yeah. Fissures opened up here and then there were and then they were ugh, fuck, I can't talk. Opened up here and there when the land bottle broken up. The landscape changed in all kinds of ways thanks to that lava that poured out. As a result, we can't use the road going to the lighthouse. We're in a real bind here. So I just can't get over there, I guess. Yeah, that, that, that vacuum's getting quite a lot of use then, isn't it? Or, I love the vacuum. Plant gang! What are you doing here, plant gang? What the fuck? Bro, there's just fucking random ass prana plants up in here. What the hell? <laughs> I did not expect that, bro. I wasn't ready for piranha plants. And one of them is doing some patooey shit over there. Not even fire piranha plants, just normal ass piranha plants. Boom. I got all that performance bonus. Honestly, I probably should, um... I probably should buy Boo Biscuits just so we can see the enemies attack. 
Oh, don't worry, we probably will get to see them attack eventually, though. <laughs> eventually, I am just gonna, you know, the enemy is gonna get a chance to attack. Oh, yeah! Not today, though. <laughs> Yeah! Only 90 coins from those guys. So now we're uh, scaling up the mountain. I don't know how I was able to hit that guy with the first strike, but alright. Dude, now we got plenty of enemy variety. Okay. Um. We're gonna have to, let's do this apparator then, because these guys are all holding up shit. Nice. Man, that one's already out of charge. Wow, that was fast. Okay, and then this attack boost, why not? Just throw that on. I mean bomb dirty is like one of my favorite bonus attacks ever anyway, so I will not complain about seeing it back. <laughs> and the extra little finisher they did for it. I'll let it, I'll give it a pass. <laughs> I'll give it a pass for that, honestly. Oh, so we're gonna be getting all those achievements done soon, huh? Wrong thing. 300 enemies left. 250 Zoc Troopers. Oh, this one's actually getting close to finished. Coin collector, that one was gonna get finished soon too, probably. This place is actually gonna take a lot longer to beat than I thought. We got some we got some sprite bulbs to collect. Oh yeah! Black gang. Yeah, he's shooting like fire. That make, that's what made me think, oh, it's a fire prop plant? But no, it's not, it's a regular ass one. Boom. I probably won't get to use the jump helmet too much if these guys are gonna throw up patooies at the start of the new battle, though. up on this mountain. There's also a sleeping one? <laughs> Is that a different enemy? No, it's just that one's just sleeping, because why not? Dude, I'm so glad that they saved the normal ass Mario enemies for like this lane to the game. Up until this point, you've had like weird other ship exclusive enemies and now you get introduced to like you know typical Mario enemies Whoops. okay well not a great look not a great look here <laughs> Jesus I'm sucking Thank God I got refreshing herbs. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> I'm getting rocked, bro. I'm getting so rocked. And why the fuck isn't my auto syrup kicking in? What the hell? It's broken. 
like, hello, I want to use a frickin', I want to use frickin' bros moves. Oh my god, <laughs> and he just decided to frickin' throw up their goddamn, uh, patooies. I'm gonna dodge these damn attacks, bro. I'm overthinking it. You know what I still haven't done yet? I haven't showed the fail animations for any for a lot of the bros attacks yet. I mean the Yoshi one I did, the Zapparator I think I did, but the shells I don't remember. Bro got a power up. Alright, it doesn't really matter which plant gang I use it on. One of these days, it's gonna throw me off, and I'm gonna accidentally press A to do the jump helmet, because that's what I'm used to. <laughs> oh my god, that's a new record for how much damage I've done, holy shit. 603. Good new record, Linguini. Those, those plants, they got lots of unique attacks. They have like three different attacks now. Which is a good sign that this game is pulling from uh, what Paper Jam did, right? And have a shit ton of vari variations with the enemy attacks. Like another lock, bro. Because yeah, Paper Jam did a really good job with having like Two to three different attacks per enemy, and there's a lot of variety, and they have a lot of fake outs too, so you really have to learn those damn attacks. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have another cave, but there's a heal, so we'll be okay. This place is way longer than I thought it would be. So hey, way to te t test my expectations, I suppose. You've done well to get this far. You must have seen the lava pouring out everywhere. Because of that, we can't use the road. Wish there was a way to stop the lava flow. If only could use something like maybe the boulders in the cave. Is that a hint? Yeah, I really needed the heal. Now the game's actually getting challenging. <laughs> That's good. I almost died. I mean, the only reason why it's getting challenging is because I'm deciding not to buy new equipment. <laughs> Which, I, hey, I guess, you know, it's a self-imposed challenge. Right? I don't mind a bit of that, either. Yikes, we seriously can't walk this. So the magma outside flows from here. If we can stop this magma, we'll be able to walk outside, right? But how do we stop the magma? Hmm. Wow. Wow. Huh? Did you find something? Well, there is a boulder up there. That big boulder should be able to stop the magma, right? Oh yeah. Break the rubble ahead of us. Guess that'll make that huge boulder roll. And then what? The huge boulder blocks the flow of the magma. Oh right, so the plan is to give us more pathways to walk on. I'd expect nothing less from the leader of Bob's Platoon Squad A. Get everyone together right away, we're gonna meet up with the Squad B no matter what. And more bob -ons. All right, is there anything in here? Okay, this place isn't that big. Although more of it's gonna open up once we uh, deal with the boulder situation. Plant gang! Yeah, imagine your first introduction. Oh my sh- Oh my god, is that a fucking glowing piranha plant? 
What the fuck? Alright, Mario Wiki, you know what to do. <laughs> Add that to the list of prana plant variations. Dude, that's sick. You know what that- you know what Gloam enemies kinda remind me of? Kinda reminds me of, um... The shiny- the shiny enemies in Paper Jam. They probably drop good items, too. If I had to guess. Yeah, that or they just drop more experience, I don't know. So this is- this is their way of introducing Gloam variations. Just get make make random enemies be blown. <laughs> oh yeah! Wait, the plant survived. Oh shit! Got him. Yeah, the plants did that in Paper Jam too. Oh fuck! He did it. A he did it a second time. <laughs> Bro, psyched me out. Dude, I freaking love this game. It's it's getting so much better. Dude, like, I feel like this is the point in the game where like it's 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 especially getting good. Like now now that they've introduced the Marin like the, the Bowser minions, now it's getting even better. Okay, I'm assuming we're gonna need to blow that up with the bombs. Like, that was seriously one of my favorite things about Dream Team, and I guess a lot of the other Mario and Luigi's, is they have a bunch of, like, weird-ass enemies. But then they also have a bunch of, like, regular Mario enemies sprinkled in. I think I talked about that already, though. Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to pass it off to Luigi or something. Okay, so we can't do that, obviously. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, I got it. We gotta do some- we gotta do some bros passing, though. Boom. <laughs> Luigi got his ass burnt, though. There's a lot of- there's a lot of enemies here, too. There's- there's like four different enemies in this place. So I'm, I'm liking the variety. Now this is the kind of enemy variety I expect from like a Mario and Luigi dungeon, you know? You know, have like two or three brand new enemies, have like a couple more old ass Bowser minions in, the, in there, you know? Hell, if you want, you can even throw in an enemy, you can even throw in like an enemy or two from previous Mario and Luigi games. Oh shit, that lucky man. Also, I feel like the speed in this game is all kinds of whack. Like, Luigi clearly has more speed than Mario, I think, now. Actually, does he? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he does, and yet, Luigi still sometimes moves after Mario. Which is weird. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I'll check after this battle. Kinda forgot about the attack boost. Ooh, Mario's gonna get a level up next battle. Okay, we need to heal again. Do I have- actually, do I have some nuts on me? I do. First time I'm using a nut, I think. There we go. Alright, so... Let's check my challenges. How am I doing on them? Oh, I'm already like half done with these almost. Okay, only 94 more luckies. We're getting there. I think the gloam enemies is probably gonna take the longest. 692 is my max damage. I mean, we're getting there. Yeah, Luigi has eight more speed than Mario. And yet, sometimes Mario moves before Luigi anyways. Which is weird. <laughs> Maybe I'm misunderstanding how speed works in this game then. Ooh, 21k. Oh 
way. How do I get up there? I think I know what I need to do, actually. This is why we blow, blew up this thing. Blew up, blow up, whatever. Alright, and we blow this shit up. I was misunderstanding how this all works. Hey, look at that! And then the bombs are gonna show up. Well, looks like we're gonna need to do another, um, another boulder. So now, uh, more of this place is opened up for us to go to. Hey, get some free money. Hey, we're getting it. We're getting there, guys. We're gonna get to that, uh... We're gonna get to that 25k threshold soon. Oh my god, I fucked up, dude. I was trying to hit that fireball, I literally was trying. But in typical Mario and Luigi fashion, I kept on being out of sync, and then I fucked up the attack. <laughs> Luigi's so stylish when he, like, does the final hit. This is one game where syru syrups actually mean a damn. <laughs> I can't think of too many Mario Luigi games where syrups actually matter. Bowser's Inside Story and Dream Team, probably, but definitely not in Superstar Saga or Paper Jam. Definitely doesn't fucking matter in those games, that's for sure. So. And I think, well, and in Partners in Time, there is no BP, so. Yeah. That's kind of funny, isn't it? Half the Mario and Luigi games, BP doesn't matter. <laughs> That's kind of funny to think about, actually. I mean, BP kind of matters in Paper Jam, but once you get like, once you get the the gear that just um gives you back all your BP for an excellent Bros ranking, the game basically is over. <laughs> And then in addition to Luigi um, having the bros boots on all the time, BP was like basically non-existent at that point. I just had infinite BP. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, here, you wanna, you wanna go? There's your first strike. Parada plant. Yeah. I think when I'm done with this, I'm probably going to, uh... I'm probably gonna... work on some more Dream Remods, honestly. Because here's the thing, right? I finished watch... I, fi I finally finished binge-watching Joel's, uh, Doom Mapping Contest. Or the second one, rather. And you can tell just how fucking done with Doom he was by the end of that freaking contest. <laughs> like, he did not want to freaking play Doom map. He did not want to get, like, Doom suggestions anymore after that. Which, uh, I guess that explains why there's never been a Doom map in Contest 3. And, I mean, it honestly makes a lot of sense. Yeah, let's use another syrup. Um, I think I could probably afford to use a, a mushroom. Oh, yeah, I have a regular ass mushroom here. The game just hands out regular mushrooms like you, you're, you're expected to use them. Is that, a glo is that a gloam hunter guy? I think it is. So that's another way of them spicing things up. Uh, 
dang it. Oh my god, those guys are so strong, too. <laughs> that doesn't help. Glome Palooka, yeah. All these luckies I'm getting. That's another thing I like about Bomb Derby. There's a lot of potential for luckies in there. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! 306. Yeah, they ain't doing shit to him. He's got to take a bit more damage to die from that. I do find it interesting that we went from side-scrolling to 3D ever since Dream Team. And that's just been like the preferred way to do bros attacks. I've always found that cool. What is bro thinking? Here, let's use a candy real quick. Oh, yeah. Yummy! Hey, you know what? He's a super mushroom, too. Okay, that, that attack's pretty easy to do. <laughs> Luigi's about to reach his next level already. I think, I think now is the point where they're gonna get really out of sync. Which, uh, yeah, let's do it for more... for more chaos. <laughs> More chaos, Luigi just gets hella out of sync with Mario. Good to see you made it this far. Come on, take a look. Mm. Do I need anything exactly? I could buy a few regular syrups, but honestly, I don't really need them that much. Actually, nah. I'm gonna pass on the Boo Biscuits. Like, I guess I could buy the crowd control boots for Luigi and the singular hammer for the bros. Which I think would make Bomb Derby a bit more powerful. But, again, I, I, re I really want those freaking gold gloves, man. I think it'll pay off in the end, of the, the fact that I'm saving up for them. And then I'm gonna save up for another pair later in the game. <laughs> Which is also insane. Ooh, look at this. This looks chaotic. Hello? Why the fuck wouldn't you move? You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. There. <laughs> Love what kept moving out of the way. Luigi, Luigi no! <laughs> Luigi fucking died, bro. Can't believe that. Okay. Stay in this position so Luigi doesn't go flying off. There we go. Okay, so we got a bomb there. I'm gonna keep going. So I think there's something else I can do. That's a lot of plants! Should I wake up one of them or should I just leave them be? Probably just leave them be. Yeah, I love how many freaking enemies are in the rush, too. You, know, you, you can end up with like five or six enemies sometimes. And the game just expects you to deal with them. <laughs> I guess to be fair, the front plants don't have as much health as the other enemies. But still, they're, uh, they're no slouches. This move, this move was definitely a lot more powerful, though, with a better hammer. <laughs> I might buy it. I want, I want to see if it makes a difference at all. Counter? Oh, it'd be nice if I figured out the tell for these guys. 
Wait, they both targeted Luigi? Okay, so the burn status in this game isn't as annoying as it is in Paper Jam. You can still act while your ass is on fire. <laughs> So they kind of, they, thankfully they, they, they nerfed it. I mean, thank god, the, char the char status is really frickin' annoying. <laughs> Look at Luigi, though. Like, he's like slapping, he's like slapping his legs. There's so many animations that I, I just wouldn't even know notice. Oh, yeah. oh man, there there was no animation of Luigi like putting out the fire. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, I I kind of got my ass whooped there. That was that was definitely a tough one. And I am I am having to recover my BP a lot too, so definitely a tough one. Okay, so I think what we need to do here is bring this with us. Pass it over to Luigi. And put it down. Oh yeah, Mar Mario's not affected by that at all. <laughs> okay, so that actually pushes it up. Which is kind of interesting. And then, what do we need this? What do we need this for? You can't pass here. I think I'm just supposed to ride it. Ride with it. Come on, make it, make it, make it, please. Fuck. <laughs> I think what I'm supposed to do, actually. Place it down. And then, and then I, I get, I'm supposed to let it blow up. Oh, yeah! Okay, that platform stays... Wait, I did it! I was gonna say, that platform stays there for a lot longer than I think it should. Look at all these creative boulder puzzles, man. This is cool. Wait, can I not even... Ooh. Camera kind of jared weirdly there. Can I go down there now? Is this where I... Is this where I want to be going? Yeah, I think so. Because I can get these blocks now. Candy and a syrup. Just a regular ass syrup. No uh, special kinds or nothing. <laughs> so am I gonna am I gonna get ambushed by bob bombs now or something? Hey, look at that. So we did that. Actually, you know what? I think I'll go, um, I'll go heal and save. Yeah, I'm actually amazed at how long this place is. This is like a real, this is like a full-on dungeon. I'm down, I'm down to finish it, though, because, um, you know, I, I like this game, obviously. <laughs> and I, I didn't get to play too much Brothership today, so it'll be worth it. That was a good amount of money right there. A good amount of moon. Let's see what else we got. We got a free super shroom. The thing is that, is that items in Mario and Luigi aren't colored differently. It's been like that since Superstar Saga. Regular ass, regular ass syrup. 
Dear Taurus, reach the lighthouse via the hill on the right. I think that means we're basically almost done here. Well, have I been, was I able to go in here? Oh, this is where I came out of earlier. I thought there was like another freaking cave or something. Okay, but this means I can go over here now. Oh yeah. Alright, let's uh let's UFO. Look at all that free money. It's worth it. Let's see how much money I get from this. Basically a hundred. Basically a hundred bucks from those. So that'll help a lot. Okay, so I think we're done over here. I think? Let me just double check that I'm not missing anything over here. Well, there's a Magmad. Oh yeah, okay. Th that's just enemies we've already fought. <laughs> Damn, that fireball went far. What the fuck? <laughs> Because I like you a lot, <laughs> as AVGN says. Cool it, somebody's coming. Ugh. Wait, Hammer Bros? Mario and Luigi, what are you guys doing here? Oh god, they all have freaking southern accents, god damn it. Nobody told us. Stay back or we'll attack. They seem scared of us. Don't tell me. These guys are part of the whole Bowser's minions thing too, aren't they? Hey. What? Yeah, we know this isn't the Mushroom Kingdom. Wait, what? Oh, we're, we're gonna explain to the bros. I see how it is. Oh, oh, dude, is this how we learn the fire and ice moves? Because there's a fire bro and an ice bro? You guys have had it rough, huh? We get it. It's taking us forever to meet up with Lord Bowser. Uh, hope the boss is safe. So, you guys are reconnecting the islands. We're searching for Lord Bowser. Seems like this is where we say our goodbyes. Yeah. I hope we meet again someday. Be well. Take care. We're definitely gonna meet those guys again later. Oh, come on! As if we just walk away? Are you kidding me? Whenever we run into Mario and Luigi, we have to take you down, no question. If you can defeat us here now, Lord Bowser will give us all big fat raises. You might your kingdom days are over. Let's go, bro bros. <laughs> yeah, let's go. And I think this is, I think this is also the first time we fought Ice Bros in Mario RPG. Oh shit, Mario's Mario's ass is on fire. Okay, put on the uh put on the auto herb. <laughs> You know what? Spirited item, too. It won't activate automatically, but I think it'll activate on the next- on Luigi's turn. Boom. This is so sick, dude. I love this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Whoop. You gotta speed up. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom. Yeah, just 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 don't just, don't, just don't jump. Easy. <laughs> I can tell these bros are gonna be a lot tougher if we ever fight them down the line. Unless these are like exclusive enemies that you can only fight here. Which, uh, that should be interesting.
Bowie. And hey, I think this is the first time that these bros have had 3D models in this series as well, right? I don't remember if they had any in Dream Team or Paper Jam. Like, maybe under some rare circumstance, but I doubt it. <laughs> Boom. Damn it, you ain't surviving that, man. Okay, never mind, he did survive. Wrong. Luigi's ass on fire, heal it. <laughs> well, and ice is also a status in this game, too. So, yeah, we gotta be mindful of that. I don't think I've ever gotten status, ever, I've ever gotten ice status, though. I guess this would be like the first time you could come across it. This is like a dead ass mini boss, this is great. Um, yeah. Let's take rid of- let's get rid of the ice, bro. You know what- you know what? Random thing. In another Mario and Luigi game, they should add- or not a Mario and Luigi game, or any, any Mario game. They have yet to add a water, bro. I know that sounds dumb, but they should add a water, bro. Oh my god, Luigi, no! <laughs> Luigi, Luigi almost fucking died there, bro. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Alright, we did it! That gave us 2.7k experience! That was a really good fight. That, that should have been a boss. Like, I should have played the boss theme there, honestly. But I get it, I get it. Oh, they're just gone. Wait a minute, how do I get down there? Actually, I think we... Uh, we come up there later, don't we? Yeah, I think we, we go up there later. We, we have to come back to this island anyway, so... I'm not too worried about missing stuff. I'm so low on health and BP. But here we go. Here, we're, we're pulling the plug on this thing quite literally. That's probably a pun they made somewhere in this game already and I just never knew. <laughs> Okay, it's time to free this place. And there we go. That's another island connected. We will go back there and eventually, uh, we'll look at the rest of those bulbs and we gotta back do some more backtracking and side quests in the next episode. Yeah, man, this game is far from over. We still have the we still have the fourth island to go to at some point, or the fourth well, the fourth sea, I guess I should say. So, we're getting, we're getting there, we're getting somewhere. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Are, are the, uh, are the Mario, are the Bowser enemies gonna be chilling out on their island now? <laughs> Hi Mario and Luigi. Princess Peach and the rest just got back too. We lost contact with Lug and his friends. How'd everything go with Dr. Volko? Oh, we couldn't fucking get him! Great, does that mean... Hello! <laughs> so this is Shipshape Island. How quaint. 
There you are, and here I am, just as promised. Let's waste no time. Show me this patient suffering from Gloom. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I'll just always be alone. Oh, my poor icy Chilium. I see, I see. <laughs> well, Duck, is he too far gone or what? Far from it. <laughs> Peach gasp. Come in, come in. We have a problem. Repeat a problem. This is slipping Glide Island over. Thank goodness you got in touch with us. What's wrong? The island, something's wrong. Some folks are so distant. They're just ignoring us. Uh oh, is that the I is that island having a blown problem too? The vibes here are terrible. And it's so cold too. I just want to go home. What kind of attitude is that for an idol member? What happened to payback for the extension core? No, I'm done with this. Home, home, home. Luke, Dulles, Ello? Say something. Now there's Gloom on the island and Luke and his, his friends went to. What should we do? Leave it to me. I'll fix them all up. You bring them here, and I'll do the rest. Our heroes here are going to link the island, right? I'll be here for a while to study this globe. It might take a wee bit to fully understand, but it should be nothing I can't handle. Now get going. Heroes shouldn't just stand around. Oh yeah. I'll do my part to search for Luke and the others. I worry that Luke and his friends are in trouble on Slip and Glide Island. If you're going there, be careful. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we are gonna go there next. Uh, maybe not immediately, but we are gonna do some side quests. Toad in the sand! Oh, right, we gotta go back to frickin' All Sand Island now. There's a girl from here from Friesen Village. What should I do? Talk to her? It'll be bad if someone sees- if someone from Boylan Village sees me, that's for sure. The boy from Boylan Village keeps looking over here. We're gonna have a war of words? I won't lose. Well, I'm actually kinda hungry, honestly. Dang it, why do I have to freaking get hungry when I'm like gonna go to bed in like two or three hours? I hate this. Oh hey, good, it heals me. Um... I am so freaking close to... Getting that 25k, man. I need to sell some stuff. Just to get even a chance to, you know, be able to afford it. Mmm. What is worth selling? I could sell the candies. You know what? Fuck it. Sell the ultra candies. Sell the super candies, too. I just want to be able to afford it. Sell two Ultra Sheriff Jars. We can afford it, guys. We can afford the frickin' gear. Let's go. Or should I say... Let's go. Alright. Back to, um... A lot of coins. Here's the problem, though. <laughs> when I buy those gloves, I'm gonna be so fucking broke that it won't do shit. <laughs> That's the problem. But trust me, it's, it'll be worth it. Also, I don't know if there were any vents on this island, but... Whatever, it doesn't matter too much. And yeah, let's just get some of that part of the island marked off. I don't know if I'm gonna count that for 100%, but... It makes me feel better, so I'm doing it. Alright, hello, buddy. I'm here to buy the best gloves in the game. Potentially. Thing is, oh, they still give you a shit ton of pow. They're good even without money. That's crazy. I'm definitely wearing those. So yeah, now we gotta save up for a second pair for Luigi. 
I mean, I guess I could sell the roulette gloves. I mean, hey, if I really, if I really, really want the roulette gloves again, then I can just go buy another pair, you know? It was fun while it lasted, though, and Luigi still has them, so it's okay. Alright. There is one more thing I need to know before I end the episode. I need to go to that, um, that place on Twisty Island. I know it's very, I know it's very, uh, very minor, but it's gonna bug me if I don't do it. <laughs> And that'll be the last thing I do this episode, is that frickin' stupid grate that I saw. Oh. Yeah. This is the last thing I'll do here. I mean, hey, the music here never gets old either, so... Hey, look, the, the, like, the Groove guys are uh, jamming up there. You know what? For shits and giggles as well? Let's see how much damage Luigi will do with the jump helmet to these frickin' boars. So these guys are only level 4, so they're gonna be hella weak now. We'll do a crap ton of damage to them. Yeah. All right, let's see. 631 damage. I don't know, man. It really doesn't feel like uh, we're doing that much. Oh, yeah, actually, Bomb Derm is going to do a shit ton, I bet. Yeah, Bomb Derby never disappoints. Oh, my God. I wish it would show me what my total damage was there, oh, though. Yeah. Actually, will it show me in the, um... Will it show me in the challenges? That's a good question. No, my max is still 692. So I think the bomb derby doesn't count. It has to be a actual, like, one-hit move. So it, will, it won't count. Alright, is this worth it? Yeah, I mean, if your 100 coins is nothing to scoff at, so yeah, I'd say so. And maybe when I finally save up enough money, I'll actually buy- I'll actually upgrade my equipment. <laughs> I just really wanted those frickin' gold gloves, man. I'd say it was worth it, because Mario did like a shit ton of damage there with the frickin' bomb derby, you see that? But alright, um, this is my usual save block to end off the episode, I suppose. And, uh, <laughs> Luigi's level 26, and we're at 32 hours. Man, this, this game is starting to end up like frickin', um, it's starting to end up like frickin', what you call it? Um, oh man, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a Persona game with how long this is. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm not even done the third lighthouse yet. Like, by the time I'm done the third lighthouse, it's gonna be like 38 hours, probably, or something like that. Because we still have another island to connect before we're done. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching, uh, Brothership. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I, this is the longest episode yet. Who knows, we might have an even longer one in the future. Depends, really. But, I'm gonna go for now. Um, expect more episodes of Brothership in the future. They're always fun to do for me. And, uh, you know, maybe, who knows, maybe I'll get started on that 300 enemy with no gear challenge. Maybe I'll get started on that, maybe I won't, I probably won't, but whatever. Here's our linked islands. We're gonna, we're gonna finish them up.
So uh, see you guys then.